Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. You may remember a while ago we were making the main shaft for the gearbox, the two-speed gearbox, the one with no gears in, and we were about to start cutting the splines around Matt's shed. Well, that has been finished, and there is the finished article. Absolutely cracking job, looks fantastic, and uh, thanks very much, Matt from Matt's Shed, because that is... Uh, that is spot on. Now we're not able to do a trial fit because everything is 10th out oversize. And the reason for that is that when this gets heat treated, that's the clutch end of it. When this gets heat treated, there is a possibility that it might ever so slightly bend or warp. So by having everything 10th hour oversize, when it's been hardened, we can grind it down to the true size. And it also means that the sprocket carriers with the bronze bushes that run on this will be running on a ground surface, which is a little bit smoother than a turned surface. The shaft itself has got the hole through for the clutch rod mechanism so that it disengages the clutch. When the uh, clutch cable is pulled, it pushes the rod from this side to the other, and on this end is the clutch. So inside the skeleton box, that's where the main shaft will be. That's the clutch that goes on the end of it. These are the uh, splined gears in the centre that pick up the dogs on either side. Um, we haven't been able to do a test fit of these uh, because it's 10th out oversize, but we have been able to make some using the exact same program so as this is the right diameter and it does fit in the clutch when that has been ground to size it should be in theory exactly the same as that so it should be a nice fit uh, this is another test piece that matt did a while ago for the, the central spine spline and it's another fantastic bit of work so if you have a moment have a look at matt's shed matt's got a, a youtube channel i'll post a link in the description uh, he's got some interesting projects and done some fun stuff as well so check that out and uh, when this has come back from being uh, heat treated probably about two three weeks time and ground to size I'll post an update of the gearbox as we start to complete drilling this for the gear selector shafts and, and doing a final assembly there. So that's quite exciting because when that's finished, it can go into the bike. We can connect the primary drive belt up and then we can start thinking about the rear wheel sprockets. And it's another step closer to getting the whole thing finished and moving under its own steam. So, yeah, quite exciting as usual. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Matt's channel and uh, more updates will follow.